Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Sorry if my voice is a little bit um, croaky today. I've got a bit of a um, sort of a sore throat and a cough and a cold, typical for this time of year. So I won't put you through too much of a voiceover today. Um, but I'm going to be sharing one of my practice sessions and painting this sunset scene with silhouetted trees. Um, this is the sort of thing that I do for myself when I'm in the studio and I just need to practice. Rather than trying to paint a finished painting, I'll try out different ideas. And I think as you can see here in this end result, some of the effects are reasonably successful, others are less so. But by painting this way without trying for um, a good result, by just experimenting, I can explore different ideas, practice my techniques and not worry if things don't quite work out. So I'm more relaxed and I can just practice freely. And as most watercolour artists will tell you, it's the only way really to progress with your watercolour is not to try for finished paintings all the time. Try out ideas, experiment, don't worry if things go wrong. It's the trial and error that will move you forward and help you to create really exciting and unique results. This is the photograph that I was inspired by from Pixabay and I shall leave a link in the description below to that. I start off by sketching it out in pencil and then with fine liners and then after that I move on to watercolour paint. And the colours I'm using today are Cobalt Turquoise, Prussian Blue, Payne's Grey, Burnt Sienna, Sap Green and a bit of Sepia. I'm using Milford cold press watercolour paper. It's taped to my board and my board will be at an angle of about 20 degrees. So gravity will help with the painting. I will start off with the wet in wet technique and then let it dry and move on to the wet on dry technique. And I'll use the largest brushes I possibly can because this will keep my painting looser and fresher. So here's my practice session. I hope you find it useful to see how I work in the studio when I'm not producing paintings or dem or sort of specific um, demos or lessons. And I'll come back at the end and just have a chat about the results and what worked and what didn't work.
so here's the finished experiment. I'm really happy with the trees. I really like the way they've got sort of naturalistic shaped branches, but um, I wanted to put on a few sort of autumn leaves, just a few dead leaves just, just left remaining on some of those um, fine twigs, uh, but I didn't. I'm just going to put an extra branch there because that's annoying me there. That little branch doesn't continue across the other side. Um, but apart from that, I like the way the trees overlap and I like how they look. Next time I try a scene like this or trees like this, then I shall try and work out a way to put realistic looking dead leaves on some of the branches, but not all. Um, so that's what I've learned about the trees. What I've learned about the water and the sky is that I've not yet found the colours that I really like that sing to me for sunset colours. So that's taught me that I'm not keen on these colours and I think my water got a bit muddy, a bit murky in places. Um, I lost some of the light. But remember, for a practice, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to discover ways that work to solve creative problems and things that don't work. And of course, as we practice, we're trying to improve our technical skills. Because without um, learning the technical skills like water control in the brush, on the paper, mixing the right values of paint, um, choosing the colours that work for you, knowing when to stop in a painting, all those skills can only be learnt through practice. So I hope you enjoyed sharing a practice session in the studio with me and I hope this will encourage you to practice a lot more without always trying for finished paintings because it is so true and there's no getting away from it that the more you practice then the more skilled you will become and the more you'll be able to paint the way you want to paint. Well thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel on Patreon. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.